Deep in the outback, in the dead of night, a species not seen in these parts for 80 years returns home. A dedicated band of scientists and supporters releases dozens of little kangaroo-like creatures known as voilies into Scotia's sanctuary in far west New South Wales. Some of them will just sit in the bags and wait and you need to give them a bit of a nudge, others are just ready and ready to, just ready to go. <laughs> no wonder they're jumpy. It's been a long journey to freedom for these woilies. 60 were captured in Western Australia last month, the only population left in the world after the species was wiped out across the rest of the country in the 1920s. There's a good boy. After travelling 3,000 kilometres from the west, the rare mammal spent two weeks in quarantine and underwent extensive health checks right up until release. And then we have a quick look at his nose and mouth and his ears. It's hoped the relocation will bring woilies back from the brink. To see them out in the field and out in the wild and go free is just a phenomenal experience. And they have a better chance at Scotia than anywhere else. Going through the gates is like returning to Australia before European settlement. Within the sanctuary is the largest feral free area in the country. 50 kilometres of fencing surrounds a huge expanse of bushland, keeping feral animals out and enabling native flora and fauna to thrive. The area over the fence is constantly monitored for signs of invasion. So this basically looks like a cat is coming out across this road here and you've got a couple of tracks just here. This venture isn't the work of government, but private company, the Australian Wildlife Conservancy. With the help of investors and fundraising, it buys up vast tracts of land across Australia and then returns the bush to its natural glory. You only need to spend one night inside that feral free area and see the animals doing their thing and hear them moving around the landscape to know very confidently it's not like any other place. Scotia supports more than 200 animal species, including seven types of threatened mammals, and visitors can enjoy the rare opportunity to get close to elusive Australian animals in their natural habitat. I don't often get a chance to do this sort of stuff. It's one of 20 Australian sanctuaries owned or leased by the Australian Wildlife Conservancy, thanks to philanthropists like Mike Cook. Instead of putting his money into artwork or fine wine, he's funded the research centre and helped pay for the purchase of other properties. I like to you know, see my money being used for you know, a, a benefit that you can actually see and you know there's a, a, a measurable outcome for the good of Australia. It's a new model of conservation that allows Australians to invest in their own environment for now and the future. Emily Rice, 10 News.